Hey guys, Neanderthal Dark today. Got on a little Amen, spraying that on. Just felt like uh, doing that today. Gonna be uh, a business kind of luncheon kind of thing. Easy to smell for everyone. Glad you clicked on the channel. Another new house. Checking out a lot of new houses lately, uh, but that's what I'm doing. Going through chords, going through composition, studying houses. Putting it all on here for you guys to watch. Thanks for being here on my fragrance journey. Thanks for clicking on. Stay tuned for the review. I'm Brandon with Therapeutic Fragrance. All right, there's some color to this juice. Do you guys see that okay? This comes in 249 for 90 ml, almost three bucks an ml. Owen McCall's the nose behind it, launched in 2018. Um, the bottles are out of this world, made by an artist, uh, Kentaro Yamada. I'll go 65, uh, 35 on this one, 65 uh, masculine. 3.55 out of 5 on Fragranica. Uh, notes on this one. Ginger, pink pepper, grapefruit, pine, incense, geranium, caraway seed. Sorry, caraway, seaweed, vetiver, patchouli, oud, amber, musk, leather, sandalwood, tobacco, labdanum, and labdanum absolute. Opening, very addictive, but in the silage, it sours. How does that happen? Hoping it changes. I keep on the on the the whole like first hour. I keep smelling my skin. Smells so pretty. Smells so yummy. The see, I seriously soured. I'm like, uh oh. Um, wore this a couple times just to make sure. Don't want to wear it anymore. That first hour is the see, I just I don't want people smelling that at all on me. Just a soury, uh, a little bit foul kind of smell on the sillage. This might be the Low rating so far up on Fragranica. I don't know. But you smell close to skin, smell on paper. It's beautiful. Smell it out of the bottle, out of the sample. It's beautiful. It, it's uh, narcotic, addictive, beautiful. We'll get into what I think about that in just a bit. Um, it, up close, what I'm talking about, beautiful. It reminds me of Masson Francis Kirk John's uh, Baccarat Rouge and Oud uh, Satin Mood. Not the Oud part, but the, the House Accord. The aid part, the, the, to a T, it's like this perfumer worked under that perfumer. I don't, I'll put up in the notes if they're the same perfumer. That just kind of dawned on me as I'm talking. That could happen in perfumery. Um, or if they know each other, this literally has that. I, 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 I talked about it, the smell. I smelt, smelt in the Maui Hotel, the synthetic accord that is so narcotic, fresh, airy, sweet, a lot of people say cotton candy, um, just addicting smell. That's what this is, close up the skin, but that's the Aj. Um, I, I've never smelt, I've smelt difference and contrasts before, but never like this. This is just an incredible difference. The sourness is just not pleasant. As I keep wearing it, I can smell the oud and leather synthetics, very familiar with those two notes used in a ton of perfumes on the market. Um, they're there, they're in the sillage. After, let's say 90 minutes, that, that sourness does fade into these darker uh, animalic notes that are in there, to me, mostly synthetic. Uh, the oud and leather, for sure, very familiar with those two notes. Maybe if they have uh, foliage um, on their website as a top note, that might be whatever they did to create that, what sours the sillage for me. I don't know. Uh, just a guess. And I don't think the grapefruit would help that at all on the top. Um, I, I never get any clear, distinct grapefruit or any of those clear notes. They just uh, meld together in sillage like that or close to skin. It, it smells just like the Passant Francis Chris John Accord to me caraway grapefruit and they have a suggested a note of foliage i could see somewhere that those three things maybe cause the souring thing for me um, it's something my nose really can't get past uh, again pulling this up throughout the wearing and close to skin 
it's that sweet MFK Accord secrets out. They figure out the Accord if it's not the same perfumer. Um, they, they, they literally have the sauce for that Accord. Um, I just don't think these notes in Projection Siage work with that Accord one bit. Um, something's making them sour that I don't like. When this transitions, it does transition down to the Oud leather, a bit of labdanum. I don't, the tobacco's faint, could be there. Um, the, the dry down's pleasant enough, but there's no getting past that opening for me. There's no way I'm getting 60 to 90 minutes to get past that. It, it's just too hard. All right, scoring Neanderthal Dark, Addictiveness, 10 out of 15. Projection Siage, 4 out of 5. Longevity, a 3 out of 5. Composition as a whole, 15 out of 25. Ingredients and price to ML, 15 out of 25. The top, 5 out of 10. The heart, uh, 3 out of 5. And the base, an 8 out of 10. Total score of 63. Sample it if you want to. Uh, if I were to wear this scent, I suggest it outdoors. If you have an outdoor job um, all year long, who do I see wearing this one? A Neanderthal. And how many sprays? Three to five. That's it, guys. Neanderthal Dark. Thanks for being here. Peace out. Be blessed.